Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm actually going to teach you guys right how to get Benzema, Rashford, Ginola all for free. Yes, you heard that right. All your latest footies players right from Team 5 as well as how to get Zidane for free as well. All those and more. Now, yesterday, we have actually gotten a Chiesa objective. 5 star, 4 star. Chiesa is always a very, very good player in FIFA, right? So I would say just go and get this done. I think it's still actually worth it to grind for this because it's actually super easy to do, really, right? What you have to do is score five goals using a player from Italy, right? And win three games, right? By having three Italian league players in your first 11. So go and get him done. He's actually very, very good, even at this stage of the game itself. Now, we have also gotten a footies cup. Let's take a look at all the cards that we'll be getting, right? We have uh, Bruma. Not bad, 5 star, 4 star, maxed out agility and balance. Isco, which I don't really like given that, you know, he's 5-5 five, five, great, but I don't know why EA can't just give him like a um, high attacking work rate. He's probably going to be fodder. And then we have um, Salisu as well with his new team, uh, Monaco, right? He was previously at Southampton. Again, looks like fodder to me. And of course, literally, we get lots of good fodder packs, right? Your 85 by 10, 85 by 3, so on and so forth. And at the end, right, we actually get Lacazette 5 star, 4 star. Again, almost maxed out agility and balance. For me, I don't really like Lacazette in the game simply because of... Um, he's actually kind of clunky to me, right? I'm not sure whether this version will be as clunky. Hopefully not. I just want to point out something also, right? EA has actually changed the uh, objective again. Um, so instead of having to win games with Prem and um, League On players, right, you just have to win champ games right if you are somebody who gets like eight wins right basically free fodder now i also want to talk about um the daily login challenge that we have right now so all you have to do is you just have to submit one bronze common player right? it's very easy to do this time however you cannot miss a single login right you have to do it for 14 days straight so just make sure to remember if you can't log on to the console just use your mobile app some really really um good fodder packs right here and of course, let's actually go and talk about your Team 5 itself, right? And how the team is looking like. So we have a couple of really good players, right? Your top top players are, you know, Benzema with his new team, El Itihad. And then we have Robbie Keane, Rashi, and um, Ginola. So let's take a look at some of the stats, right? Benzema, 5-star, five 5-star five Benzema, right? High medium work rate. Benzema is definitely, right, one of the best players in the game. His attacking AI, right, is really, really intelligent. So... I'm looking forward to using this card. He's also a premium footies, which means that he gets 3 cam on his own. And then we have somebody like Ginola as well, right? Always meta, finishing one of the best in-game. 5-5. Five, five. I hope this one is not as clunky as the previous version, given that he's almost maxed out agility. Right? You probably want to put like an um, engine on him to get the balance up. And then we also have somebody like Marcus Rashford, right? 5-star, five 5-star. Five now, all these players, right, are not that expensive, right? We don't really have like a 13 mil kind of extinct player, even for Benzema, even though he's actually 99. Why? The reason is because of this, you know, glitch pack method that I'm going to talk about later on. Right? I'll teach you guys how to get all these cards for free. And then we have a JJ, very, very cheap, 5-5, five five, only 200k. Robbie Keane, 400k. Right, all those are really, really, you know, good cards. I don't think that there's anything to complain. Allison has been actually pretty common, right? I don't I've actually packed him a couple of times yesterday when we were actually going through the packs. And then let's move on and talk about some of the other content, right, that we saw yesterday. Um uh, we got the uh, 90 plus right footies player pick one from team one from team five. So this is fantastic for me. You can do it unlimited amount of times and it's actually very easy to do. Uh, 86 and an 87 squad rated right now, right? It's actually super duper easy to do with this pack method that I'm going to talk about in a bit. So it's 100k a pop. What I say you can do, right, is if you're looking for Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar, right? You can do this, right, unlimited amount of times. I'll teach you guys how to do that later on. And I'll actually say, right, it's actually pretty good to complete this given the how easy it is, right, to obtain for the... And of course, right, we got our big boy SBC yesterday in the form of a um, 99, right, Zinedine Zidane. My favorite card, I will have to say, right, I've got his mid version, used him for so many games. All-time favorite card, he has so many 99 um, stats on this card itself, right, the passing is 99, I absolutely love it. Agility and balance, probably a little bit low, that is possibly where you might want to increase, probably an um, engine chemistry style. Right, uh, finesse shot, 
Uh, not outside the first shot trade. Again, um, I don't know why EA can't just do like high medium, right? His trophy title version, right, actually has a high high. So I don't know why. But anyway, Zidane's AI is so intelligent that even with a medium attacking work rate, right, he's going to play very, very well in game for you. And if you actually take a look at the squad requirements, right, it's only 21 squads. And yesterday, I already predicted, right, in the previous video that he's going to be 3M. So right now, it shows as a 1.6 mil. But upon release, right, yesterday, right, he was actually at about... 3 mil, right? Just like right at the release, he was 3 mil. So for you to be able to get him at 1.6 mil right now, right? It's actually a fantastic bargain, right? It's super, super value for coins because you're just paying 1.6 mil, right? For basically, I would just say he is the best cam in the game. I am 100% gonna complete him. And um, I think you should too, right? If you need a cam, you definitely should as well. And because of how cheap fodder is, because of, you know, all the cards that we are getting impacts right now, right? Even somebody like, you know, your Ronaldinho SBC, right? It's so cheap. He's actually right now 2.92 mil, right? Just remember, just a few days ago or upon release, right? He was actually 5 mil. I'm going to teach you guys, right? How to get Dino and Zidane, right? For free. So, like I mentioned, right? Um, the re-release cards, impacts, right? The team of the weeks, or uh, more specifically, right? Actually, the thoughts are actually the ones that have brought down right a lot of your thoughts and team of the week prices so anyway this is a full list right of your batch 3 re-release players we have trophy titan icon um ronaldo we have a uh, bird cam we have thoughts messi uh Nkuku, so on and so forth so just take a look at the sheer amount of thoughts we have in pack right it's actually so many thoughts impacts so this is absolutely crazy we have a uh, moments ronaldo shapeshifter pogba so on and so forth so i just hope that you know, you don't have any of these cards tradable because these cards actually tank like crazily in price. I'll explain more later on as to why. And then we have Shapeshifter, Pele as well. So I'll leave the full list of your re-release batch 3 cards, right, down in the comments um, section below, down in the description. So do check out. Now, I next, right, I want to talk about the prices of your thoughts and team of the weeks, right? Y'all realize that in the last trading video, right, I actually didn't tell you guys to buy because I know they will go, they will be, they'll be in the mud, right, basically, they are, they are, they're gonna be in the mud because of the re-release. So, you know, your team of the weeks right now, right, I believe maybe they are at about 10 to 11k, I would assume. Yeah, so they are basically down to discard price because so many people, right, when they do the 84 or 85 by 10, right, they are all getting team, team of the, team of the season, right, so there's no need for thoughts. So they're basically down to this card. I hope you have already sold everything. Tots as well, right? Tots is basically almost close to this card because nobody is buying them off the market. Everybody is just packing them, right? So it's crazy. Just remember that Tots were actually going for 30k, right? Just two days ago. So I actually hope that you have actually sold. So, you know, your 85 by 10s, right? Because of the fact that um, so many people are rinsing and repeating, right? It has brought down the prices of the whole market. If you look at somebody like um, Schweinsteiger, who is in packs right now, re-release, he ran from about 1.3 mil, 1.4, all the way down to about 330k at his lowest, right? He basically lost 1 mil in value. Your thoughts Mbappe, again, another re-release cut, 3.7 mil, all the way down to about 2.2 mil. Jao Felix, shapeshifter, re-release, 480k, all the way down to about 120k, which is absolutely crazy so i hope that you have actually sold all your tradable cards because it is actually right super super crazy so i next want to talk about um what are some of the content right that we can expect to see later on today and then i'll talk a bit about the investment and then we'll move on and talk about the how to get all the cards for free right so today right the 82 by 100 actually expires just remember that you guys remember, right? We had actually have a 83 by 100 di that didn't come out. So we could possibly see that, right? Maybe we might see that. And further, basically, right? It's down in the mud, given the amount of things that people are backing. Your 88 and your 89 rated, right? Are basically down to their discard price at about 11K to 11.250. So quite frankly right what you want to be buying right it's actually your lower rated fodder so if you still want to trade right now your 81 rated cards right console players right 800 coins max try to get them on bid at 650 coins your pc players right 1.1k max 900 coins on bid your 82s console players right 1.1k max 900 coins on bid pc players 1.5k max 1.3k on bid 
your 80 trees. 2.1k max for your console players, 1.9k on bit. PC players, 2.5k max, 2.3k on bit. Your 84s, console players, right? 3.2k max, 3k on bit. PC players, right? 4.8k max, 4.6k on bit. So just focus on your 81 to 84 rated because everybody, right, is packing all the higher rated cards. And I'm actually going to show you guys why exactly people are just buying 81 to 84. So um, let's move on quickly and talk about how to get all your cards for free, right? Your Footy Steam 5, your Benzema, uh, your Rashford, your Ginola, how to craft Zidane, how to craft Ronaldinho for free. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get some fodder, right? You need some fodder to kick it all off. What I will do is I'll just play the Footy's Cup, right? Once you get an 85 by 3, right? Um, 85 by 5, go and open them up, go open them up, right? And then go and do your 85 by 10 SBC. Your 85 by 10 SBC, right, can only be done five times every day, right? It refreshes every single day. So go right ahead, go and do your 85 by 10. With the amount of thoughts that we have in packs, right, I think we have like about 70, right, 60 to 70 thoughts in packs. You should be able to pack lots of 90 to 93 rated cards very, very easily. Go and do this. You can literally, after that, right, just rinse and repeat. I already completed the 85 by 10. So for demonstrative purposes, right, let's just open it and see what we get. And I can demonstrate right here, right now, right, how to basically rinse and repeat this over and over again until you get the players you want. So let's go right ahead and I have an 85 by 10 right here. Let's rip open it. Right, it's actually going to be a crazy, crazy pack. If y'all haven't seen the pack weight for all these, right, definitely we're going to get a thoughts, right? 93 Taremi. Fantastic. Right, fantastic. Let's see what we get. Right at the back, do we have any luck at getting any footies? Right. Look, look, this is how the pack looks like nowadays, right? How many um, 90 and above that we have? It's actually so easy to craft. Right? We even get a Socrates shapeshifter, which, you know, it's not that bad. So let me swap the players out and then we'll go and craft the SBC, right? So we're going to go back to the 85 by 10 and craft it right, right away. I can do it two more times, right? I've done it three times already. Okay, so just make sure that we put in the cards that we have gotten. Tarimi has got to go in. Uh, Kudus has got to go in. Fabinho and Chiro Immobile. I believe I'm just going to chuck in for Fana, right? Let's see. So 93, 92. Just give me a moment, right? I ain't no, um, I ain't no SBC wizard. Yep. Nice and easy, right? So look, I didn't even have to buy anything, right? Take a look, right? I'm using mostly 80s and 81s to fill up the rest of the squad from um, what I have. So once you are done and then you should go back, go and rip the pack again, right? And then keep rinsing and repeating. Let's see what we get this time round. So I would say this is when, you know, footies really feels like footies, right? It's almost like it's this is like the really, really end game because you can just keep rinsing and repeating, right? Until you get the players that you want, which is absolutely fantastic. And you can do this for free, right? All you have to do is go and purchase some 80s to like 83s. Let's open up another 85 by 10. It's going to be Tots as the walkout card again. Borini. Fantastic. Let's see what we get at, right at the back. Hopefully we get one for this. I actually got really lucky just now in my second pack. Yeah, so this is an example of kind of like a bad pack. So again, you know, you store the cuts in and then you go and rinse and repeat, right? Just keep rinsing and repeating. Once you are done with the 85 by 10, right? Go to the 84 by 10. And then if you want to craft, you know, players like Zidane, right? Then just go ahead and craft, right? You basically have so much fodder, right? A 88 rated squad right now for you is so easy to do given the amount of 90, 90 rated and higher that you will actually be packing. And then also, you can also rinse it into your 90 plus, like I mentioned earlier in the video, right? If you want to try to pack Futis, um, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, I think that is something that you can do. It's actually really, really fun, super easy to do as well. 
right? So 85 by 10, once it's done, right, go to your 84 by 10. I've actually gotten really, really lucky. I've actually packed um, a very, very good player in the form of uh, Footies Ginola. So, you know, if you want Ginola, just keep rinsing and repeating that method. It's actually super simple to do, right? Ginola is right here. So, yeah, this is actually a very, very OP method, the glitch method right now. And you can actually, right, just keep spamming this method. So, the next thing I actually want to talk about, right, is compensation news. So, earlier on, right, your 93 plus shapeshifter slash footage player pick, right, actually contain heroes. However, right, it doesn't say so in the description. So if you have seen a uh, heroes, right, in your 93 plus shapeshifters slash footies player pick, right, expect to get compensated. Again, I don't know how long the compensation will be, right. Uh, if you didn't see a hero in your pick, my guess is this time they probably, right, wouldn't compensate you. So there is some um, compensation news for y'all right there. And of course, some of the other things, right, that we could be seeing later on today, right, it's actually more XP. Specifically, right, your home hope of XP3 is actually going to be released, right, later on today, right, it even says right over here. Yep, so it's actually going to be released at Content Drop today. So, in general, right, I would say your market, right, would definitely continue to drop, especially your players, right, who are actually impact. So, if you want to try out somebody like Rashford from the latest team, right, I would say, you know, you should just go ahead and do it, go and try him out. But once you are done with the games, right, please, please go and sell him because he is 100% going to continue dropping in price. Why? Because of the unlimited pack method glitch that I've showed you, right? Everybody is going to be rinsing and repeating your 85 and 84 by 10. So sooner or later, right, people will start packing him, right? More and more people will get him and then his price is just going to keep going down and down and down. Not just your Rashford, even your you know, your lower tier cards like your Florenzi, right? He's just going to continue dropping in price, right? He dropped from about 160k down to about 135 before dropping further. Especially your lower rated cards, right? Your lower rated cards are way easier to pack, right? Compared to your higher tier cards like your Rashford. So over time, sooner or later, people are bound to get, right? The Ginola as well, I already packed him, right? He was at about 4.8 mil, dropped all the way down to about 1.7 mil, right? And then he's right back down to about 1.6 mil. However... If you're somebody who knows how to do fluctuation trading, right, this is actually, you know, super ideal for you because they're going to fluctuate a lot, right? Lots of people are going to pack them, sell them. Lots of people want to try these cards out. So, yeah, you can actually go and do some fluctuation trading even though it's kind of risky. And let's talk about, you know, the store packs itself, right? What are some of the store packs? Given the amount of um crazy stuff, right, we have um in packs right now, right? Is it actually worth it to open up packs? I would say it's definitely more worth it than it has ever been. So if you want to open up the packs, right, just actually go ahead and do it, the store packs. I know um, lots of people are hoping that your 400k pack returns later on today. I would say given the amount of um, higher rated cards we have, right, if you actually need further, right, your 400k pack, right, it's actually going to be definitely worth it. I'm 100% sure. So hopefully we, you know, we see that. And yeah, you know, this is some of the stuff that we have this pack is actually pretty worth it given you know 190 rated card right now right it's actually at about 10 11k so you're basically getting um 50k worth of fodder 100 percent you just hope that you get something good right so if you guys want to you can you guys can actually go ahead and uh rip this pack so yeah th those are the stuff that i actually want to bring you guys through and i actually want to talk about your amazon prime gaming pack Right, um, well, a brand new pack, right, is gonna be coming out really, really soon. If you want this free pack, given how many insane cards we have in packs right now, all you have to do link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, and you can actually get this pack for free. I'll leave the link down below as to how to do it. And of course, if you actually enjoy all the content on my channel, right, you can actually sub to me for free on Twitch, right? It's gonna mean a lot to me because I've been. I've been uh, working really hard, right, to give you guys all this content, you know, how to cover SBCs, how to make coins, all the good stuff. I'll leave the link down below as to how to do it. It's actually very, very easy and simple to do. So, I've actually crafted, right, yet another 85 by 10 for y'all. So, thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. And, you know, guys, we are really, really moving towards the end of FIFA, right? Um, EAFC is literally just one month away. So... Um, I'm not really sure as to, 
you know, how often y'all still want to see YouTube videos, let me know down in the comment section below, right? <clears throat> Whether you guys would still want to see me produce content on uh, FIFA. Because this is literally it, right? You can just keep rinsing and repeating. And you can basically get all the cards that you want. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below, man. Whether you guys still want to see, you know, FIFA content, right? So this is an example of a crazy, crazy pack. I'm also thinking about doing fantasy Premier League content on my second YouTube channel. So do also let me know whether you guys are actually interested because I'm a huge fan of that. And I think, you know, using this kind of downtime between FIFA 23 and EFC 24, right, I can actually do something else that I really enjoy. I'm actually pretty good at the game as well. So do let me know whether you guys are interested in that. So we're really in the end game now, right, guys? Um, just go out, have fun, build your end game teams, right? Go and craft whatever SBCs you want, Daniel, Zidane and all. And yeah, so that's it from me, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more trading videos, right? How to craft SBCs, latest news and leaks about EAFC24, hit that sub button. Less than 70 subs away, actually, from that converted 1K mark. Let's go ahead and see whether we can hit that mark before EAFC24. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. I can't thank you guys enough. And ah, I'll see you guys around, man. All right? I'm out. Take care, guys.